I'm Bob Davidson. They're the founders of the Davidson Institute for Talent Development. And along with them, they have brought Taylor Wilson, uh, who is a student at their Academy for the Profoundly Gifted. It's a pleasure to have you on the program. And I should point out uh, that uh, you do very advanced physics work at UNR. And at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, you were the top finisher locally in northern Nevada and fourth place in the physics and astronomy division. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And you got to meet Conan O'Brien. Yes. <laughs> so what was all of that like? Uh, it was a very interesting experience. Um, you know, a lot of stuff happened that week, and it's, it all kind of ran together. I don't know how well I remember all of it, but uh, it's, uh, it was really exciting, you know, meeting the celebrities like Conan and then my celebrities, uh, you know, Nobel Prize winners. Winners, um, uh, you know, Nobel Prize winners in physics or chemistry or those kind of things, but um, and also just the other kids that are like me, you know, that are interested in physics and are doing these interesting projects. So it, it was a it was a very fun week. What, what was school like for you before you came to the Davidson Academy? Um, boring. Um, I mean, it was it was it wasn't so much bad. I mean, I, I fit in. I wasn't you know uh, from that standpoint, but it was a little boring. Um, more than a little, but uh, you know, I slept through my classes a lot of times, and I, I didn't have to try to make you know a hundred and all of my classes. Um, so uh, boring, I guess, would be the word to describe it. Tell us a little bit about your project that won. Um, it's fascinating. You have developed uh, d some sort of system to stop terrorists from. You you tell us. Yeah. Okay. Um, so kind of how this all started. I'll go back to the very beginning. So um, my passion is nuclear science and um, I love radioactive materials. I have a large collection of all these different radioactive things, you know, uh, quack cures from the 20s that had radium, that kind of stuff. Um, so I wanted to make my own radioactive stuff. Uh, so to do that, uh, short of contaminating something, you have to have a source of neutrons. So when looking into this, I found the Farnsworth Fuser. And basically it's a little fusion reactor. Uh, a little fusion reactor. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm fusing atoms to together. Um, so uh, I'm the 30, like the 31st person to ever produce one of these machines and the youngest. Most people, most of the people who built it, you know, are physicists, you know, and later in life who want to have a challenging project. But I'm the youngest at 14 when I uh, uh, built it. Um, but uh, anyway, it fuses atoms together. It smashes atoms together so fast that they actually fuse um, in the process of nuclear fusion, just like the sun. And uh, anyway, with that, um, I came up with my project for the science fair. And uh, basically, um, it's a way of detecting proliferated uh, nuclear material or nuclear weapons coming in ports. Um, so we've had a problem uh, for a long time now of uh, seeing if there is a nuclear weapon coming in these cargo containers because basically we have no way to know. Uh, we've tried passive detection where um, you detect the gamma radiation coming off the uranium or plutonium in the nuclear bomb, but it's of such a low energy that the nuclear device itself, if not that, the cargo container shields that radiation. So it's really hard to passively detect a nuclear weapon or nuclear material. Um, so what my idea um, is based off of is active interrogation. So basically, you use the neutrons from this fusion reactor I built, and um, you actually in, uh, induce fission, the process that you know, makes an atomic bomb explode. Um, you induce small amounts of fission in the uh, uranium or plutonium, and it produces more neutrons. It multiplies the neutrons. And if you detect more neutrons on the other side of the cargo container than you put in, you know somehow they're getting multiplied, and more than likely it's a nuclear weapon. Um, and it's pretty, uh, you know, fail-proof system. I mean, the really the only way you can get fission if you have some kind of fissionable material there. So um, that's that's the gist of my idea. Well, has the government now talked to you, and yeah. have they asked you to help them out? Yeah. Um, so I just got back from Washington, D.C., and I met with some people in the Department of Energy, some very high-level people in the Department of Energy, and also uh, sat in a boardroom with uh, several um, top uh, Department of Homeland Security officials who are very interested in the idea. They're wanting, you know, possibly you know, looking at grant money for this or, you know, expertise and different things. So, yeah, Homeland Security is definitely interested in it because um, what their system is is behind this. They, right now they have plastic scintillator systems that basically all it can do is detect radiation. Um, their next level system is called the Advanced Spectroscopic Portal, and basically that'll tell them there's radiation and what the radiation is coming from. But then 
that still, even if it tells you what it's coming from, um, that still doesn't tell you, you know, if it's uranium, if it's uh, weapons grade uranium. And that's what my idea can actually tell you. Now, have you patented your project? No, I haven't. Um, you know, this, this idea has floated around. You know, I don't know. I'm, I haven't been in this field a long time, so I, I don't know how to go about it. But I don't know if I need.